Hey Virgos, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your daily message. It's your girl Empress Sneak sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy as always. Hey y'all, hey. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing really well. Talk to me in the comments. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Our shares are up. Thank you guys so much. I don't get a notification when you share the video, but I am grateful for each and everything you do for our channel. Thank you for everyone who's booked their readings. I am going to get back to doing readings right after this video. Just took a quick break. I have sent purchases out, so I appreciate you guys. Be on the lookout for your package and your tracking numbers. So let's go ahead and dive in, my Virgo lovies. Let's see what's going on here. So I'm feeling a lot of positive energy around you, Virgo. At this time, I'm feeling the energy of wonder around you. People are stumped. Like, you have people confused, somebody in your energy, or I feel like it's definitely more than one person. Some of you could be on Facebook or social media platform where people from the past can watch your life or whatever the case may be. Some of you could have crossed paths with someone from the past, but there's energy here of someone wondering how you did this. How did you do it? Somebody knows that you came from a very tough place and, you know... I'm feeling like somebody could have just not had it or whatever the case may be, whatever your hardships are, because everyone has them. I feel like you definitely have overcome um, tr a traumatic experience in your life or some very tough times, okay? You know, like not everybody is blessed with money or um, good things or wealth or um, a family that loves them. Like, it's a lot of different things that could have been challenging in your past that people know about and they've seen you overcome that. Whatever the case may be, your life has touched so many people's hearts and has them inspired and wanting to believe in themselves, wanting them to, tr making them trust God and find out about their faith and whatever they're doing. It's like Vir whatever Virgo did, I need to do that because this person changed their entire life around. So Virgo, let's get into this energy surrounding you and see what message spirit wants to bring you and why i'm getting that download all right so this is your pre-shuffle energy and i feel like it has a lot to do with this reading and the message that i'm getting today um goddess of justice is saying what seems to be an injustice is actually a blessing so this is you like i said overcoming traumatic times i feel like this could have been you overcoming your injustices in life absolutely I mean, I feel like some of you were hurt, sad, maybe confused as to why you had to go through the things you did, but it actually made you into an amazing person. It made you so strong, so resilient, so successful, okay, because it helped you grow tough skin. It helped you become a go-getter, very self-sufficient and self-reliant because you realized over time and through those obstacles that it's best, it's safer when you trust in yourself so it's safer that way for you so a lot of you rely on yourself you do things for yourself and you've been doing it for a very long time i mean and i and i feel like this is the energy that helped you succeed that helped you change your life i feel like once you have been to the bottom or you've been in the worst place you fight to get to the best place you can get to and i feel like people don't understand your tenacity and your um motivation but you do. And it's from the hardships that you could have experienced. All the things that made you feel like you just weren't treated fairly. Or you were you were on the short end of the stick. Not on the receiving end. You know what I'm saying? It was just, I think it was just all the opposition and the tough times that you went through. A lot of y'all went through hell. You know, so I feel like God uplifted you. Changed your life around. Your motivation. Your belief in yourself and your confidence you know and just keeping your faith a lot of you all you really had was your traditional beliefs and a lot of you believe in god and you trust god and that's your strength you know that's what builds you up that's what gives you your encouragement for a lot of you so i feel like whatever this is that you believed in to give you this power to succeed against all odds it worked for you and people realize that so you literally have people in awe trying to figure out how you did it. How did you overcome these obstacles? Some of you were strung out. It's people that really, really watch me that had addictions because I've talked to them. So it's like different things draw people to me because my healing energy is strong. 
and I get that. And these seeds I plant are definitely going to grow. So a lot of people see that. And a lot of people are drawn to my energy. People that have overcame and people who have went through tough times in their life and they're stronger now. And they're growing now. And they need guidance to make sure they stay balanced and on the right path. Yeah, so I get it. And a lot of you are there. Some people watch you overcome addictions, whether it's to people, sex, drugs, whatever the case may be. They watch you overcome so much. Some people know you to be homeless. Some people did not have a place to stay. Couch to couch is still homeless, you know? You did have a place to go to to get shelter, but if it wasn't your own. So people do remember that, you know? And they watched you become a homeowner. And they watched you um, live and move into a great um, neighborhood and have this six-figure job and five figures, like, whatever. Like, they see you elevating. And they're amazed. We got goddess of the sacred path here. Let go of logic and trust your intuition. So spirit is saying continue to do what you've been doing to get you this far. Trust your intuition. Trust your conscience. That's the God factor in you. Trust it. It's going to lead you to the right place at the right time every time. Okay. So I'm getting that. So some of this is it could be you trying to make a decision. Wanting to make sure you make the right decision because you've been making these power moves and you don't want to stop it. You want to keep everything in, in synchronicity and keep everything in flow. Like you don't want to break the chain of abundance and successful choices and all of these things that are in alignment for you. You don't want to come out of alignment. Thank you, Spirit. So this is what you're looking at here. Spirit is saying trust your intuition. You won't. And if you feel resistance or something feels like it's not right, more than likely it's not. So trust that. We got the angel of manifestation here telling you that your efforts and determination and perseverance have paid off. And I feel this like 10 times, like times 10 is really paying off in your life. And now you're at the point in your life where you actually can look back and pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself for how far you've made it. And now you're also at the place in your life where you're catching the attention of others because they see that your seeds are now planted on fertile ground. You're not the same Virgo you were when they knew you, right? So let's go ahead and tap into this energy, Virgo. Let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you about this amazing transformation. Look, I'm excited to see. Y'all tap down below. Talk to me down below. Drop your purple hearts. Just put your energy on this reading to claim this reading. Make sure you like. All right. And I will touch and agree with you down below. Uh, that is already done for those of you who are struggling with this energy. I mean, it takes a lot to have to walk away from the life you knew to change your life completely. And it's worth it. It's going to be well worth the outcome because just like this card says, what seems like an injustice was actually a blessing and you're going to keep getting blessed, okay? You inspire people. Your life is inspiring people to have faith, to have hope, to hold on to, you know, whatever their vision is for their life. You know, it's inspiring to look at where you've come from and where you are now. So you're touching people's hearts, whether you realize it or not, even if it's the smallest change, you know, it still motivates somebody else. Um, the first card that came out is practice gratitude, last moon in Sagittarius. So don't forget to say thank you, Virgo. For a lot of you, I feel like you are saying your affirmations and in this gratitude energy where you're feeling really proud of yourself. And you are very grateful. But for some of you, just don't forget to say thank you. I feel like I know life can happen and you get used to paying attention to everything that's not working. But the fact that you're here watching me is a blessing. The fact that your bill is paid so you can watch is a blessing. You know, it's little things. The fact that you can get around every day, you have a job, you might hate it, but you still have income coming in, little things. So I feel like Spirit wants you to pay attention more to the things that are working in your life as opposed to the things that are not, okay? So let's see what else. Go wild, full moon in Leo. So this is encouraging you to have some fun. This is encouraging you to step outside of the box, enjoy yourself. Come up out of your quiet place. Come out of the house a little bit. Maybe take yourself to a show or do something that you're going to enjoy. This is also telling you to go after what it is that you are passionate about. Spirit is saying the sky's the limit with this go wild card. Real quick. Like, because I really want to know exactly what this is saying. So let me look. I'm going to see if I have my book over here real quick. Let me see. If I don't have it, it's meant for us to move on. But I'm going to look real quick and see if I have the book. 
Do I have the book? I do have the book right here. So let's check and see what this Go Wild card is talking about. Let's see. I don't know. I never look in this book. I always read these cards intuitively. But I definitely want to see what this Go Wild card is saying because I feel like it's basically telling you to step out on faith and just go for what you want. I really feel like that. Go wild. I feel like this is representing the strength card, to be honest. Because the way this book is set up, it looks like it's set up like tarot. So let's see really quick, guys. I want to see so bad what this is telling you to do. So this is a last corner. I guess this is a last. Oh, this is a full moon card. Hold on, y'all. So go wild. Boom. Here it is. It says there are times when your best in manifesting and wait a minute. When your best bet in manifesting and in life is to throw all your cards up in the air. So speak. I mean, so to speak. All right. So and this is saying see how they fall. So it's telling you to take a chance. It says as tempting as it might be to try to control the situation, you'll be better off now if you just release it and go a little wild. It says you'll get the answer to your question soon, so you might as well enjoy the ride. The unexpected thing is having fun is the most powerful way of manifesting your desires. Distance yourself from arrogant people, okay? Wow. So, okay. So, manifesting balance. Find a balance between having a great time and attending to, to the people who need you. And then also for mindset, worrying about something or someone triggers law of attraction as much as positive thoughts. So focus on the positive. Try not to worry, okay? Wow, I like it. I live in the present. I release all past pain. That's your manifestation that will help here. So that is cool. I need to read some more of that book. I really only read these cards intuitively. So wow. So I was like, right, yeah, have a little fun. Don't stress about something here. It's just throw throw your hands in, see what happens, and let it give it all to the universe. It's like trust God to bring something positive towards you. You've already put in everything you can put in in that situation. All right, so look, think it through, okay? So it's something that requires you to think it through, and I feel like something could have something to do with the Gemini, or this is you making a logical decision. This is air energy, so I really feel like you're it's making a logical decision, the go wild card is fire energy. So it's talking about you going all in, trusting that it will it'll be a positive outcome, keeping a positive mindset, and enjoying your time, enjoying yourself while you wait. And then thinking it through is making sure that you are um, assessing all the facts. This is having a no-nonsense attitude and making sure that you're standing your ground and making sure that you are um, fair in your decision making. So you will need all the facts, okay? And just process it and then leave it to the universe. All right? Let's see. So it's something that you're thinking about here. Something that you're thinking about. Cool your emotions. So something could make you emotional a little bit. Full moon and Aries. Okay? We got Gemini, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius on the board. So something could make you a bit emotional. All right? I feel like you could get worked up because you can't really decide how to move in a certain situation. But spirit is definitely saying believe in your good luck. Underneath the bottom of the deck, we have all good things are working in your favor. Everything is happening for you right now. So just trust that it will be a good outcome, a positive outcome in this situation. And everything will definitely work out for your highest good, okay? So let's go ahead and see what message spirit has for you today. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit guys, show me clear messages for my Virgo. Hey, my lovies, show Virgo what they need to see here. What does Virgo need to know? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to see what message Spirit has for your highest good and what this situation is. So let's see, what is precious gratitude? Six of Cups for the blessings that you're receiving, for the positive energy and the positive things that are happening in your, happening in your life, for kindness. This is saying be kind to yourself. And also, there could be somebody from the past that is in your life, and it it is a need for you to be grateful for that person. 
All right, be it somebody is practicing gratitude for reconnecting with somebody. Wow. Aggression, battles, control, and dominance. So this is saying be grateful, do your best to be kind, and control your anger. Control your temper when people make you upset. I feel like it could be people who are judgmental, trying to judge your character, trying to come up against you, um, trying to create blockages or something like that. But it's somebody that is kind of negative. And I feel like it's some type of aggression here. All right. So I feel like Spirit is saying balance your energy. Don't argue with people. Let people think whatever they want to think about you and your situation. And you stay positive. Practice kindness. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here with the Five of Swords and the Six of Cups. It's like because you're blessed, all right? Six of Cups is positive energy. I feel like this is saying that you're blessed. You have this positive energy around you, and not everybody is happy about that. I feel like you have opposition because people like to talk about stuff they don't know. Somebody could be underhanded and trying to compete with you or just cause you problems or just talking trash being aggressive or being negative. So Spirit wants you to stay away from, stay clear from the, negative, from the negative thinking and the negative people, just like your card says. All right, and go wild, collaboration, dedication, and a shared vision, three of pentacles. So don't overthink this thing. Somebody could be overthinking an opportunity and whatever this opportunity is, Spirit doesn't want you to overthink it. As long as you don't overthink it and you stay positive, there will be a positive outcome, Three of Pentacles. So it's going to be a shared vision and some type of collaboration that's helping here. So think positive. All right, think positive in this situation. To continue having the good opportunities. Look, Three of Wands, opportunities arising. So there'll be travel here. You'll be traveling towards something or towards somebody. This could be you um, working together with somebody as far as work or project. All right, but this positive news is going to be coming towards you or you're about to go and experience some type of positive um, union, positive opportunity. Yeah, three of wands. This is opportunities arising and collaboration and shared vision. So you're going to be working with somebody new or you're going to be able to travel to get something that you want. Okay, this is something that you want and communication is going to be coming in about this thing. I feel like this is fast action, so something is about to happen for you really quickly. See, the blessings are still coming in. That's what I'm saying. People are surprised at your growth and how well things are doing, but the blessings are still coming in. Show me more, please. Ace of Swords energy. Here's that communication. All right, victory, wisdom, success. Think it through. This is you coming up with good ideas, great ideas, okay? This is you feeling inspired, all right, and feeling um, very creative, all right? This is also you um, using the divine truth to either begin a union or close out something that didn't serve you. But I think this is positive. So think it through. You're going to have an opportunity to think something through and try to stay calm in this. Seven of Wands, bravery, courage, overcoming obstacles and standing your ground. The Seven of Wands talks about confidence. And it also, like this says, standing up against adversity or whatever these people are talking about. Because I feel like just like people are surprised and shocked at how well you're doing, not everybody has something positive to say. With the Three of Pentacles, it could be old friends. Three of Wands, it could be people that aren't around you, they're away from you. But it's always it could be people that always kept something negative going with the Five of Swords, okay? This is, could be people trying to fight you, trying to argue with you, trying to, you know... Whatever the case may be. But Spirit is saying, cool your emotions, stand your ground, continue to stand upright, be just, and come up with witty ideas on how to communicate your feelings, okay? With this Ace of Swords energy, Three of Wands and Three of Pentacles, you have some type of good news coming in, and you're going to take a positive action, all right? Seven of Wands, it's endings and beginnings, self-mastery and completion. So this is the world card here. I feel like somebody could be walking away from people who don't serve them. This is you changing your life. And I feel like this is telling the story of the things that happened in the past. And here they are watching you now. Keeping a very close eye on you. Watching you grow. Um, feeling am ambitious by watching your life. And fresh ideas, okay? This is also a student. Somebody who is stu studying you. And also somebody who seeks to know about what they can't see. So this person is really wanting to know what you did to change your life around the world, okay? You ended that cycle that was tough and stressful for you. You stood your ground, 
All right, you walked in your truth with the Ace of Swords energy. Three of Wands, you moved away from the conflict and whatever didn't serve you. Three of Pentacles, you started getting opportunities, collaborations, doors started opening for you. Okay, and then the Six of Cups. This could be somebody who you saw, like I said, from the past or they see you. They notice your energy changed, your life changed, you changed. All right, and I feel like it's because you were in this hermit energy, moving away from everything that didn't serve you, spending time with spirit. Spending time working on yourself, you became even more spiritually wise and very much knowledgeable about life and people. And you started using these things to your best abilities. Like you started using them for your highest good. Wow, that's beautiful, Virgo. I feel like a lot of you are resisting temptation, resisting the devil. All right. A lot of you are walking away from that energy. Wow. So show me more um, spirit. What else did you want to tell Virgo? in this reading what else did you want to tell virgo thank you to everybody who is supporting our sister channel tarot team went in for sneak and if you guys want a personal reading about your life path where you are and on your path what your person is doing or should you walk away from somebody who is just not serving you somebody probably also wants to know if somebody being deceptive or cheating you can book your reading at closer the number two mydestiny.com all right Oh, we forgot to get Believe in Your Good Luck. Let's get one on Believe in Your Good Luck, okay? Believe in Your Good Luck for Virgo. Let's card experience. Believe in Your Good Luck. Wow, that was a tower. It didn't flip out, but it came. Magician, believe in your good luck, okay? You are manifesting. You have the power to bring in whatever you want, and you're quick on your feet. So this is going to work for you, okay? You believe in your good luck. So it is saying you're the magician. You can have whatever you want. They go that devil again. Five of wands. Adversity, drama, and chaos. Shadow self. So unhealthy bonds. And I feel like this is what you walked away from to get your ten of pentacles. Everything is working for your good, okay? Everything. So I feel like as long as you rejected this energy, everything is working for your good. I feel like somebody could be thinking negative about you and your situation not really happy even though they're inspired you know people can hate your guts but still watch you because you make them better and they don't have the confidence to say that or walk in that but it's true right and five of wands chaos drama competition so yeah that's what that's what you're dealing with but you know what spirit says trust in your good luck Cool your emotions. Don't let these people stop your shine. You probably will hear something that somebody said or whatever the case may be. But truth is, they admire you. You inspire them. And they're, somebody could be a bit envious, but they're learning. They're learning from you. All right, so walk in your power, Virgo. This is a beautiful reading. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you before we close out. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. We'll get some hot tea a little bit later. This is what we're working with right now. This is a beautiful message. If you resonate with this message, touch down below. Let's see. Be careful who you who and what you surround yourself with. So if some of these people are bitter because you left them behind and your life changed the moment you did. True love will find you in the end. So if you're stressing about love, don't worry about that. Everything is going to work out for you. Okay. These cards try to get away. It says you'll break free from everything that no longer serves you. So keep going. Trust in the magic, okay? Rejection is for your protection. So all of these people here who are spying on you, having negative things to say, or trying to compete, trying to learn from you, or whatever the case may be, let them talk, all right? Let them, let them do whatever they do, because either way, you're going to be blessed, okay? It says you will find your place in the world even when you don't know how to, and that's confirmation, against all odds okay so i love you guys thank you guys for everything and i will see you later on today have a beautiful restful day i hope you get a lot done and i'll talk to you soon bye my loves bye my virgos